work. Dev! Look at Dev! It's the butt plug guy! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, dude, dude, look at this guy just absolutely covered in oil. I wonder why that would be, you know? Why is he glistening? Oh, listen, listen. You said that, I didn't. It's uh, called I don't. Megaloblada Long Penis. Does everyone have clothes on? Wow, everybody has clothes on? Like, it can get harder. It can get a lot harder. Like, like it can get really hard. Every time I see this shield, I think it says Meat Tower. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. I don't care, I'll just do that. <laughs> oh no, that looks awful! What? Air fryer? <laughs> Dude, why does... Why? Dicky hands? Hello? Now that I've scared everyone off with the butt plug talk, let's now get into the meat of the video. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really know what this video is gonna be about. I don't know where it's going. It's just going to go. I just sort of felt like making an FTK video. Welcome to Kragar Blackstone's Lair. I didn't see you walk in, but I'm glad you did. You see this guy? Crystals growing out of him? Yeah, he's not great. My name is Stu Amin, but my friends call me Stu. Can we get some eye contact, please? Eye contact is very important. I don't know why you're looking at Jacob over there. That's not me. Over here, please. I'm down here. A little bit further? Yeah, yeah, down there. Ah, there you go. You found me. Why am I laid out between my co-worker's legs? Well, you would be too if you... For the King 2, the game that you're probably not playing, probably never even heard of, is unconditionally one of the best games I've played in a long time. It might be, honestly, since FTK1. This roguelike tabletop RPG can be enjoyed solo, or with friends. You guys work together to take down the tyrannical queen of Fahu. The game requires patience, teamwork, and planning. Let this video act as evidence on how absolutely sensational this game can be with your friends if you guys are in sync. Allow me to introduce you to my co-op partner this video. His name is Thor. He's got a lot of fantastic thought-provoking phrases such as... It, no, a game, gamer sups. I think I heard, oh, Gamer Sups. Okay. Yeah, correct. They have a flavor called, um, Titty Milk. And most notably... Whoa! Oh, there's a boner in here! Well, anyways, I still really haven't figured out where this video is going. I just wanted to point out that FTK is a very interesting game to play co-op. You and your co-op partner, or partner, really need to be focused and locked in. Coordination is incredibly important to success in this game. Unironically, this game is very unforgiving, so you really need to be planning wisely and using your time wisely. The game has these timers essentially built in, so you can't just be lollygagging about. You need to get moving. Here are some great examples of when Thorg and I are locked in and focused on the game. Enjoy. I think you're using this oh. Yeah, she... Wait, what happened? Well, oh. You hit the sheep... She's not. She's not a real supporter. Wait, what? What happened to the sheep? Didn't didn't he hit him with the shovel? And then um, I guess he's back. Did, no, your guy called in a new sheep. No, no, like that... mid mid fight, he called in a new sheep. He no, he eager. didn't. No, hundred percent, he didn't. I got an achievement like thirty seconds ago for summoning ten animals or something or yeah, ten companions. You don't summon sheep mid fight. Well, how would he get here then? I'm asking you. <laughs> I think he came in. I think he got that's, summoned. That's that's how the conversation started. I said, where the sheep go? Welcome back. Listen, Iron Oak absolutely knew what they were doing when they were making this game. Don't just name an enemy a boner and expect nobody to take notice and make jokes. This boner <laughs> takes up four tiles. He's so big. You certainly don't just name a location Soggy Birth without anyone noticing. Um, ooh, Shocked Bow's really good. I ain't doing no green jelly, bro. Oh! Wait! No! Dude, there's a soggy birth? Wait, wait, wait. There's a soggy birth in this game? No shot! Wait, has there always been a soggy birth? Oh my god, there's... Oh, we can't not do it. Where's the soggy birth? Okay, Thornwood. I didn't say the name. Pick up the sealed letter from Thornward and deliver it to Soggy Birth? Dude! Look at it! That's the, that's the first time I've seen that, I think, right? 
Oh, dude, these devs, they absolutely knew. They knew. You don't just bring back Soggy Birth and don't know what you're doing, right? Like... <laughs> All right, all right. Let's. This place is literally called Soggy Bird. If you really pay attention to the writing and references, there's actually quite a few jokes that have been subtly written into the game. The way the game basically works is you choose a party of one to four characters. Each one of those characters has certain abilities. Some of them can passively find stuff in the middle of the woods. Take Friar, for example. He's able to just randomly find alcohol on the side of the road. Is it safe to drink? Who knows? And even more importantly, who cares? Friar's whole thing is that he just gets drunk and murders goblins in the woods. Some passives are better than others. There's one in particular called Justice. We all know about Justice. Whoa. Yes! Justice! Oh, 25! <laughs> My god. I'm just gonna leave that one there. Justice is really something you just sort of need to experience for yourself. And you can only do that if you play FTK2. I'm not really sure if I've explained what this game actually is. You might be very confused, but I don't blame you. I've sort of just been bullshitting for the last few minutes. But basically, all you need to know is that it's a turn-based RPG that's heavily inspired by D&D. &D. Please, give it a shot. Let me know what you think, and in the meantime, enjoy some clips from Thorganized last play session, and remember, please check him out on Twitch and YouTube. His name is Thorg007. It'll be linked in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Um, Are, you got what? Can you can you say it in words for me? What you're gonna <laughs> do? What your plan is here? Um, I'm, I was actually gonna blast the boner. Oh my you're god, gonna, that hits oh, everyone. Oh, you're gonna blast the boner. <laughs> is oh. that right? Is, is that kind of what you think it'll work? I've never thought about doing that before. <laughs> oh, he he like regrew his like body stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. It it got bigger. It extended. Like I, that's why I asked. I he said, got the why, third part of his. I said, oh, why did it get this bigger? This is worse. This is worse. They turn into like the those um. <laughs> I like that he says someone from your chat. Justice. Oh my god. We gotta take this guy out. We gotta take him out to town. I can handle. Take that, it. We gotta take that boner out Listen, to dinner, baby. Listen, Thorg, I can handle it. All right. This bean yeah. has two teeth. <laughs> two teeth on this bean. Two teeth ready for munching. Wow, she she said that my never Your say majesty. die attitude. Oh, are you doing voices? No. Betrayer of the throne. <laughs> Followed you because of the sky high references. Oh, oh, thanks. I love that show. Isn't it um, a movie? <laughs> <laughs> Can we just win or lose? <laughs> no, we're winning this. Oh God, he's ugly. <laughs> Why is he like covered in crystals? <laughs> Kragar Blackstone! He's a slave driver? <laughs> more slaves I see. We can always use more help down here. Dude, do not quote that. He just quoted, yeah, they're both miners, and said it's a treacherous sentence to say on stream. We are fighting in a mine shaft, dude. <laughs> they're mining ore. They're not 17. They're mining ore. They have mining picks and silver for oh, crying out loud. Oh my god, you, you goof. Uh, I'm not a goof. They're trying to misquote me, dude. Mm. Well, it's not a misquote. It's a quote, but it's taken out of context. Is it? Are you sure about it? It is. We are oh. quite literally in a mine shaft. I like how he used the word treacherous. There's the word treacherous is not in that sentence. Huh? I only saw the woodcutter go flying into the hole. Well, the woodcutter is back out of the hole, baby. Well, what do I mean? He might have wanted to be in there. About warm water, dude. Warm water is delicious. Okay. You disgust me. It's it's delicious. I sit here for hours what other, at a time, sitting here and drinking warm water, and it's. What fantastic. other weird things do you do? I'd do anything for those beads. <laughs> you know those. Those are some nice looking beads. I feel like I feel like that's gonna be taken out of context.